Hello, online pipe community. Ethan Parsimonious Piper here. It is Cobb Tuesday. <clears throat> Rainy outside, so I'm indoors. No Cobb hat today, but I do have my Missouri Meerschaum 150th anniversary bulldog. And in it, in it, I have got some Granger. A perfect pairing for a Cobb. Now, Ed Hobbs sent me a healthy sample of this. I have been smoking it all week and absolutely loving it. For those of you unfamiliar with it, Granger's one of those Codger blends. Uh, as far as I know, it is all burly. And that comes through in spades in the flavor. This is just straight burly flavor. It's got that uh, nuttiness little bit to it. A slight sweetness. Um, went out and looked and supposedly it's got some anisette. I don't really get the licorice flavor to it, just a sweetness. But not a, not an aromatic type sweetness, just very lightly there in the background. The first time I had Granger, sample I had was dried out and did not rehydrate well. This stuff that uh, that Ed sent me, perfect condition. And it is just loads better. Uh, in fact, this is going to get a rare four star out of five from me. I am definitely going to have to get a tub and work my way through uh, an entire tub of this stuff to really familiarize myself with the blend because uh, it is really good. And then I'll have to decide from there whether I decide to sell or some. This is not a rough burly like, say, Five Brothers. It is very smooth. You could smoke this definitely. This is a Codger style that you could smoke all day, every day. I might have given it a five, but I have found that if I don't slow down, I can get a tiny bit of bite out of this, unlike, uh, say, Carter Hall, which doesn't bite even when I spank it. Um, it uh, this does give me just a little bit if I chooch too hard, but even then, it's not a it's not a bad tongue bite like. Um, uh, say some of the Mac Baron blends, I, I get a real chemical tongue bite out of that. This just gets a little hot. But only if I really, really push it. It uh, This is good stuff. Thank you so much, Ed. Those of you who have wanted to try a Codger blend, but didn't want something aromatic and didn't want anything too harsh like Five Brothers, Give this a shot. I, I think th this will give you an idea of what a, a good smooth burley can taste like. North Georgia Piper is having his 100 sub giveaway. I believe today is the deadline. So if you see this and you haven't entered and you want to, you need to get a video in by this evening. He wants to know what our favorite genre of tobacco is and and if there's a particular one particular favorite blend what that would be well when you think of categories you think of virginia's aromatics english's balkans burleys codgers my favorite doesn't fall into one of those categories by itself what i like are blends with a punch and that can be across different styles. Uh, for example, um, on the English side of things, I love pirate cake, which is 70, 75% Latakia and the rest Burley. That's got a punch. Um, I like things like um, uh, Bold Kentucky and uh, John Cotton's Double Pressed uh, Dark Fired. Not the same category, 
normally speaking as uh, as a pirate cake, but nice bold punch. I love Rustica, another one with a big punch. My two favorite blends, and I go back and forth as to which one I like better, fall into yet another category, and that is these dark Eng uh, English style Virginias. Whatever it is the English do to their Virginias is not the same thing that everybody else does to them because they come up with, particularly the Sam Gawith and uh, Gawith Hogarth, they come up with uh, these delicious, truly dark um, Virginias. And my two favorites there would be uh, the Gawith uh, uh, Black and Brown Irish Ropes. Uh, I forget, I think that's the X. Um, twist is shag cut for whatever reason or something like that. Uh, I forget, but I, I really, really, really like the ropes. Those are punches of flavor and uh, just can't get for me any more delicious than that. I, I have yet to find anything that, that truly rivals those two. So I hope that satisfies your curiosity. Uh, don't enter me in the giveaway. Let's uh, let's spread that love around to somebody else. But uh, congratulations on the sub growth. Um, I know you said you're not really in it for the numbers, and I, most of us really aren't. It's those interactions. So, folks, drop by. His link will be down below, and uh, let him know your answer to those questions. And while you do, light something you like. Just might be an all burly codger. Enjoy your afternoon.